This past Wednesday, congressional leaders met with top White House officials about a deal to avoid a government shutdown that could include a compromise on DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. The program protects hundreds of thousands of undocumented immigrants who came to the U.S. as children from being deported. They are commonly referred to as dreamers. Cesar Vargas is New York's first openly undocumented lawyer. His family crossed from Mexico into the U.S. when he was five years old. It's nice to have you with us. Thank you so much for we'll having me. We'll talk a little bit more about your family story in just a moment. But first, let's talk about this timeline. That six months has really come down to a March deadline, which means the work has to be done right now. Absolutely. It's an arbitrary deadline for the president to give until March 5th when, in fact, we're already seeing DREAMers losing their deportation protection uh, now. So the urgency is now. We need a deal now. And you know, for myself, we want to make sure that, uh, that we don't have to fear being subject to deportation, especially within this administration, has pretty much targeted anyone who is undocumented or anyone who may be an immigrant, whether they're undocumented or legal. There are some proposals on the table, some suggesting swaps. Parents would go back, but the kids, people who came as children, could stay. Or uh, you could swap border security or wall, increased wall presence for DACA. What do you make of any of those swaps that have been proposed? We understand there's going to be a deal. Uh, at the same time, as much as I want to make sure that there is protections for myself, for my family, uh, I don't want to be able to just uh, help one group of immigrants in exchange of persecuting one group of immigrants, another group of immigrants. And you often hear nasty rhetoric, frankly, from Republicans, but the Democrats have dropped the ball many, many times on immigration. Uh, Democrats had control of Congress and the presidency, and they didn't do anything. In 2010, five Democrats voted against the DREAM Act that would have provided a path to citizenship for undocumented young people. They failed to do that. So right now, Democrats are going to be on the losing end if the administration does come up, which in my opinion, will come up with a solution. How would you increase border security if that's one of your proposals? No one wants to come here undocumented or legally crossing the border. No one wants to risk uh, dying in the border we are talking about a path to citizenship, but also a, a, a border that's secure, but also not a militarized border that's going to spend taxpayer money for no reason, like a wall. People often, I think, don't understand mixed status, right? That, that you can be DACA, you can have a sibling who's not, your mom could be undocumented, her husband could be DACA. You know, like there's these families, especially in a decent-sized family, that mixed status means you really could be tearing apart a family through a legislation. Absolutely. Just for example, like not only is my family mixed status where some of my siblings are U.S. citizen and legal permanent residents, but we're talking about also military families. I represent clients now who uh, the mother is undocumented and the two children, one is in the U.S. Army, the other is U.S. Marine. And they tell me, like, I want to make sure that my mom can be protected so I can do my job defending my country. And they have told me that I am more afraid of my own government ripping apart my family than the enemy abroad. Are you optimistic? And this is what we're talking about. Uh, I am. I am. I am. That was a big pause before you said I am. I mean, your, your DACA expires in 2019. There's plenty of reasons to be just turn your back and just say, forget this. So there <laughs> if there's all these reasons to be cynical and not optimistic, why would you be optimistic? Because... If there's anything my mom has told me is to keep fighting for the American dream. When those doors closes, another doors open. And we need to make sure that we are pushing for that despite what's happening because the American dream is at stake and we cannot give up on that. Cesar Vargas, so nice to have you. Thanks for Thank talking Thank you so much me. for having me. You bet.